Hey, Vito Lafada here with Fitness Panora's Life and Fitness Profit Systems. Today, I want to talk to you about content, specific, targeted content to a specific audience because that is the number one way to go out there and build your tribe, build your expertise and your authority to deliver value and bring people to your doorstep. I'm going to talk to you about the content cyclone, which is how you can go out there and get more content out in a quarter of the time. Because the number one issue I hear from fitness professionals is I don't have the time to go out there and get my content on all the platforms. I got to get it on Facebook. I got to get it on social media. I got to get it on YouTube. I got to get it on my blog. Well, I'm going to show you how you can get that done quicker and faster than ever you did before by just learning how to repurpose things. But first up, you truly got to understand that your content is king. If you want to build a tribe and you want to sell them things that can go change their lives, the number one thing you have to do is deliver value and be positioned as an expert in their eyes. So without your content out there, without you showing them what you can do for them, how you solve their problems, how you can help them with their struggles, how you can help them achieve their wants and ambitions, nobody knows about you. You're the best kept secret. But yet, if you go out there and start, instead start getting your content out there and getting it on social media and getting it on YouTube and getting it on your blog and getting it out there in video format, email format, newsletter format, all the different places, you can start having people come find you. Wouldn't it be great to have people finding you instead of you always out there hunting for people? When you create targeted content that is specific to a targeted audience, you go out there and you can drive traffic to that content and build your list and your assets by being smart about where you place your content, how it serves people, and that allows your voice to go out there and scale as much as you want, which means you're going to have a little bit more lifestyle, you're going to have more freedom of time, but you're also going to build a bigger business. So how do you do it? Well, step number one, you just got to know that repurposing is all you got to do. But let's break this down because there's something important that I want you to really dial into. The fact that social media assets like Pinterest, uh, Facebook, um, all those kind of things. You do not own those assets. They're owned by those companies. So God forbid anything happens to those companies, your fans, your followers, they're gone. They're gone. One of the things that you got to do is go out there and make sure that you're driving people to owned assets you have. Email list, a blog you own, addresses, all those kind of things are at least things that you own because Facebook, Instagram, they're changing the algorithms all over the place. So your content isn't going to be seen as much or you're going to be working 10 times harder to do that unless you get this content cyclone going. So here's the step process I want you to look at. Step number one, I want you to choose your tribe. The adage out there that you can't speak to everyone is true because if you try speaking to everyone, you're going to get heard by no one. And if you want to be out there and be an expert to a specific audience, you want to rise as the authority in that audience, you got to choose a tribe. So number one, choose your tribe. Once you got your tribe down, what I want you to do is go out there and do a little research and verify what content they're looking for. This is all I want you to do. I want you to go out there and figure out what are the three main struggles or problems that, we'll use an example of people that want to run a 5K are looking for. Maybe they're like, I don't know how to start a 5K. I don't know what to wear during a 5K. I don't know how to eat for a 5K. I don't know how to train for a 5K. Boom, right there you have four different content pieces that you can be creating that can go out there and you can start driving traffic to so that the people that are out there sitting in Google and sitting around being like, how do I run a 5K? Your content is going to come up when they start Googling in those terms. So you're going to go out there and verify targeted content. Targeted content. Not just I feel like making up content, but content that is specific to who you're trying to serve. So if you're out there serving football athletes, you might be like, well, what are football athletes writing down? How do I get a scholarship? How do I increase my speed? How do I recover after a workout? Targeted content. You can easily sit down in Google and search engines and start typing and it will auto populate out some of what you want to see and then just go see is that actually being searched. So verify targeted content, but we just call it verify. 
That's what I want you to do. Next thing I want you to do is just simply do this. Shoot a video. Because a video can be repurposed in a bunch of ways. You can easily turn on a camera and start talking to that. Hey, Michael Lafada here looking to talk to you about three ways that you can get started training for a 5K. Number first thing you want to do is get a good coach. Second thing, da 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 da. You get the idea, you can easily turn on a camera and you know your expertise, so you can easily start speaking to a camera, which is a lot easier than how do I type it up? How do I do this and that? How do I make it a blog? How do I do this and that? Shoot a video. So three, shoot video. Shoot video, because this is what you're gonna do when you shoot that video. You're gonna carve it up. You're gonna carve it up. My step four, carve up. Carve up, because what you're gonna do is with 25% of the work, you're going to take that video and you're gonna get it transcribed. And when you get it transcribed, you can go to rev.com. On your phone, there's also Rev Recorder is an app you can get, but rev.com, super duper cheap. I mean like pennies on the dollar type thing, pennies for the word type thing, that I want you to carve it up because then you can get that transcript back from the video and then you can start putting it into a little spreadsheet and then you can kind of like serve and distribute. Serve and distribute. So first after that, you're gonna get it transcribed. Transcribe, that's your next step. Then, then from there, you're gonna serve and distribute. So our step is serve and distribute. Serve and distribute, my freaking handwriting is awesome. Don't worry, I got a worksheet that always accompanies everything because I don't got good handwriting. So I figured out I always have to give you guys worksheets. So, serve and distribute, what does that mean? That means you're gonna go out there to all the different platforms. After you got it transcribed and after you carved it up, you're gonna basically be like, well hey, this is going to work for, I'm gonna take 500 words, I'm gonna shorten down that transcript to 500 words, little steps, that becomes my blog. Cool, I can then take this part and make it an email. I can take this part and just make it a part of a newsletter. You're gonna be able to just repurpose all that content to get it out. You can be able to be like, well hey, on my social media, I could take this blurb, about whatever I just wrote or shot a video of and then I can drive traffic to say, you want more? Check out this video. You want more? Check out my blog. So you just get to take one piece of content and start shooting it out in a bunch of different ways. That's why I kind of call it the content cyclone because it just starts going everywhere. That's what helps it get viral. That's what helps, some people are like, like seeing your content on LinkedIn. Some people like seeing it on YouTube. Some people like seeing it on your blog. Your mission is to just shoot one video, carve it up into a bunch of different platforms, then serve and distribute up to all those different places. Then what you're gonna do is basically drive traffic. You're gonna drive traffic. That's where you can boost your Facebook posts. You can create Facebook ads and drive traffic to that. At this point, the social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Google, I mean uh, Instagram, they have the traffic. You just gotta basically pay to get it. And it's dollars today. You can boost a post for five bucks to one of your blogs or to your to YouTube video and things like that. And now people are seeing it. And as long as you have this next step, you're gonna be building your list and you're gonna be building your business. Because the next thing you gotta do is capture those leads. You wanna capture those leads, which means you have to have an email opt-in, which means yes, you gotta get an email management system like GetResponse, AWeber, Infusionsoft. I recommend GetResponse because it's super duper cheap. But once you have somebody go visit your YouTube or go visit your blog, you wanna have a box pop up that says, hey, would you like the worksheet with our three steps to gaining speed on the football field? Awesome, put your name here and we'll send you that worksheet. The same way probably when you watch this video, a pop-up box came up that said, would you like the worksheet to this video so you can work through this little content cyclone on your own? That's how we extend delivering more value which builds trust between you and your tribe, and it also makes sure that you capture the lead so that you can nurture the conversation, which is basically our next step, which is nurture the conversation. Most people today are not ready to do a sale with you right now. They need eventual time. 
And we gotta get past those days because it's such a multimedia world today, it's such a mobile world that people need 10.4 interactions with you to make a buying decision now. So part of this content cyclone plan is so that you can be like, I'm showing up in 10, 15, whatever many places that you want. So people are starting to see you everywhere. They're like, damn, this person's all over the place. This person's doing their work. That's what we wanna be doing. So you gotta be prepared though to nurture the conversation on the back end. You'll see that when you get on my list, you receive other emails from me because I'm always just like, hey, today, I may not have had what you were looking for, but someday I probably will because I'm always thinking about my tribe. I'm always verifying the content. I'm targeting. I'm always out there shooting videos. I'm carving it up. I'm serving and distributing. I'm driving traffic to it. I'm capturing leads and I'm continuing the conversation. That's how you get to make targeted offers. You don't wanna just make random offers or be like, I just have this. You wanna start being like, I can make targeted offers. So let's finish that this conversation that you created and sent out a blog about three ways to start training for a 5K. Well, versus sending them, hey, would you like to just get personal training or would you like to just get a membership? What if you had that train to run your first 5K program? Now, that program makes sense with the video, the content, the audience that you sent that to. Do you think you're gonna have more likely that that person is gonna start that program because they're like, oh my gosh, I was searching on Google for how to run a 5K. I saw some cool content of yours. You sent out some more content and we continued the conversation. And then, oh my gosh, you have a program on how to run a 5K. Oh, I'll take it. That's how you build a brand. That's how you build products. That's how you market services. Targeted offers with the content that makes sense to the right audience. Now you're just gonna be able to get a lot more of it out because you can use this content cyclone out there. That's what we do building a brand, not just a product. So that's our little content cyclone. Grab that worksheet, walk yourself through it. Just as a visual, you wanna always just think about this one major freaking post, that video. That's kind of like what we call like our pillar post. And all these things that you're gonna carve up and distribute from out here, it might be Facebook, YouTube, your blog, you might have email, cool. You have LinkedIn, cool. You have uh, Instagram, cool. That one pillar post, that one major video that you shot can now be going out to all these things and because they're all back and forth leading, you're starting to create a cool cyclone of your content getting out there. People are gonna start seeing you. People start seeing you and hearing your message and seeing how valuable and helpful you are to them. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna crush it. So go out, put that content cyclone into use. Don't use the excuse anymore that I can't get my content out there. Stay tuned to what we're always doing. Make sure you remember our Fitness Panora's Life Facebook page. Make sure you're on this list, you subscribe to our YouTube because we're putting out this content all the time to try to teach you how to go out there and live a better life by serving the fitness industry and serving the people out there who need you in their lives, helping them get after it. I look forward to seeing you in our future videos. Stay tuned for more.